Hi, welcome to Little Orchid. Today we will be looking at my Fel Mahuto Diamond Red Beads. This is a mix between Diamond Beauty and LDS Bear King from Big Leaf Orchids. And this beautiful orchid just flowered for me. Unfortunately, I did lose the first flower. I have some photos here showing the progress of how fast it was that the flower withered away. The difference was I changed the medium from moss to bark and sphagnum moss, which absolutely killed my flower here. You can see it shriveled, sad. This was a really hard sight to see, so I didn't take photos for a while after this and after patiently waiting it provided me a brand new bud the last bud i believe had issues because i put it in front of the humidifier changed its medium and took it out of its normal medium which is moss and um this one here i placed back into sphagnum moss i did not move it whatsoever giving it a perfect environment and keeping it as consistent as possible to provide a beautiful flower. As the bud grew, so did my anticipation to see the flower. I have so many photos. I didn't use all of them to show you guys how gorgeous the flower is, but this is just a handful of the most beautiful photos I got along the way showing each and every angle of the flower and how it developed. I was so excited. I really thought Red Beats was going to open up on my birthday, but it did take her a little bit longer. Um, this is her beautiful flower fully opened. At this point, Red Beads had no smell. As the days went on, Red Beads smell became a little bit spicy in the morning and very beautiful throughout the day. Around 3 or 4 p.m., the smell is gone, but it comes back each morning, refreshing you each time you smell it. This flower is so beautiful. It is definitely worth every penny. And this is my beautiful little mubby Aja smelling my flower. These last two photos are just showing the beautiful burgundy, yellow, pink, and white coloring that this flower has. I hope you liked the video, thank you for watching, until next time.